Good morning. Oh my gosh, about two minutes ago, I had the camera on and I heard this funny noise. Did your screen all go funny before? I think someone's messing with my Facebook Live. I'm sure I saw something yellow. Did you see something yellow, boys and girls? Oh, goodness gracious me. Anyway, I'll just grab my clipboard. And we'll have a look. Here we go. Righty ho. Yum, I do apologise about yum, that. Yum, 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 What's that noise? Yum, 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 yum. Did yum, someone yum. say yum, yum? Yum, yum, yum. I'm here. I thought... Ah! What? Did you just say that? It looked like a... I can't say the word, boys and girls. It looked like a... B starts with B. No, I'm not going to say it. Oh, sorry about that. Well, good morning. It is, what day is it today? Wednesday. Wednesday, goodness gracious me. The week's going really quick, isn't it? And hi to everyone out there. Thank you for tuning in this morning. Now, before we start the shout outs, can I tell you, yesterday afternoon, I was very brave. I decided to make a banana cake. I'll show you. I was read, this is a slice. I cut a slice out. You see the banana cake? Can you see that all right? And I had lovely lemony icing on it and it's very nice. And I cut it in half and I delivered half of it to our local ladies at the Greytown Pharmacy because they're so hard working, Contact, contactless, of course. I'll pop the banana cake over there. And the rest we're gonna have for afternoon tea. Hands up who likes banana cakes. You're very brave if you make a banana cake. Anyway, right. So let's have a look at the clipboard, see what's going on this morning. We've got a few shout outs. Right, first of all, I'd like to say a big hello and happy birthday to Arlo Harmon. Arlo, I hear you're turning seven today. Lucky number seven, happy birthday. And that's love from Grand Moo and Popper. I love that, Grand Moo and Popper. Or do you go Grand Moo and Popper? And um, hi, shout out to hi to Rose. Hi Rose, hope you're well. Um, hi to all the teachers and the Tamariki Ma at Ōtaki Kindergarten. Hope you guys are well in Ōtaki. Now, last year when I came out to Ōtaki, the kindergarten, you've got the lovely hollyhocks that are growing up your driveway. And I got some seeds and I planted them in the ground. And my hollyhocks are about that high now. So I'll take a picture and send them to you when we're in flower. So thank you for that. And hi to Linda Milne and co. Hello to my lovely friend Grace in Dunedin. Now, who are you watching today? Which Beanie Boos? You'll have to let me know. How many can I say? Three or four? Oh, four. Very cool. And hi to Grace's friend, Stephen, too. Hi, Stephen. I hope you're well. Um, a big hello to Ellie in Stokes Valley. Hi, Ellie. I hope you're watching this morning. Nice to see you. A big shout out to Sue and all the Kaioko and Tamariki Mara at Bellevue Kindergarten. Hi, guys. I hope you're well and um, hope you're having a nice day. And hi to all the Fana Manaki teachers in Wellington as well, and Wanganui. Um, a shout out, a big shout out to Charlotte Stiles, who's turning seven. Hello, Charlotte. I hope you have a nice birthday. And that's love from brother Harry and Ed, your father. And that's hi to you guys as well. So I hope you guys have a nice day today. Hello to Zoe. Now, your mum sent me a picture yesterday of the banana cake you made. I love the chocolate icing with the sprinkles and the fa fairy sprinkles. They look lovely. I bet it tastes nice, does it? Yum. So thank you for sharing that. Hello to Della Laird and your children and Chris. Hope you guys are well. Um, a big hello to Henry in Christchurch, who's turning one year old today. Happy birthday, Henry. And Izzy, Lockie and Ollie, I loved your birthday shout out to your cousin. I saw the video this morning. Great singing, by the way. And hi to great nephew Angus too in Sanson. 
Hello to Phoebe in Gisborne. Hi Phoebe, I hear you're turning four today. Four, that's a great age, isn't it? I love Gisborne. I was up in Gisborne last year at the library doing a summer reading programme. And I love as you drive into Gisborne, into the town, you're driving down the road and then you see the big pirate ship. It's great. I bet it's warm up there today. So you have a nice day, Phoebe, all right? And happy birthday. And that's lots of love from Mummy, Daddy and Big Sister, Gracie. Hi to uh, Nina May and Luigi and Dad Mike. Hope you guys are well. Hi to Lorraine and Kathy Boyle. Hope you're feeling better, Kathy, because I know you've been a little bit poorly. And hi to your flatmates as well. So I think that's it today, short and sweet. Now today I thought I'd show you a couple of magic tricks. But I'm going to teach you a trick. Do you want to learn how to do a trick? Okay, I'll just show you what the trick's about. So all I need for this, children, is something in here. I'll just grab it. Here we go. A red silk handkerchief. Do you say the red silk handkerchief? Now what you do, you show the red silk handkerchief like that. You push it into the fist. Like that. See? Like that. Okay. Then... You grab a magic wand. I'll just grab my magic wand. Oh, it's not there. Goodness gracious me. It's not there. Right, start again. Take the red silk handkerchief, push it into your hand like this. Da, 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 da. Say the magic words, wibbly wobbly. And look, you got an egg, hecky. Now that was pretty simple. I'll show you how to do it. Don't tell anyone. All you need is an egg with a hole in it. So you tap with a spoon, take off the shell, tip it into a glass, because you can make a scrambled egg. You see it's empty like that inside. Then you take your red silk handkerchief, you see? Okay, that's all you need. So children, later on, after the show, you can try it, but get mum and dad to help you, especially the little guys. All right, but the important thing about doing this, children, is this, let me just show you. So you hold the egg in your hand so no one can see it, right? So you've got the egg, hold it in your hand, conceal it. And you've got the silk handkerchief there, okay? Are you with me? Okay, so come on the side like that. Then you push the handkerchief into the egg, right? Squeeze it all the way into the egg, like that. And then you show it like that. Oh, oops, daisy. That's come off, never mind. All right, have you got that? But you can take your magical fingers and go wibbly wobbly. And then you can go like that, you see? And open up the egg. All right. Try it, but don't tell anyone how it's done. I'll just pop that over there. Righty-ho! I'll show you another one. Let me just wipe my hands. This is called the four-sided card. I'll show you the trick, then I'll show you how to do it. You say you've got a four-sided card. You've got one spot on that side, four on that side, three on that side, and six on that side. I'll do it again. One spot on there, four on there, three on there, and six on there. This is how it's done. You need a card with two spots on one side and five on the other. Are you with me? So as you take your card from behind your table, take your hand, place your hand over there saying I've got one spot on that side. No one can see spot number two. Are you with me? When we turn it over again, you take your hand here, place your hand there, saying I've got four on that side, because once again, no one can see spot number five. The hard part is when you turn it over again. One, two, three. So as you do, you place your hand there and quickly say, hey, I've got three on that side. Most people will think one's underneath your hand like a card or a dice, but it isn't. And then when you turn it over again, Take your hand, place your hand on there, and say, hey, I've got six on that side, because most people think one's underneath your hand. Now, there's always some smart person in the audience that shouts out, let me see the spot underneath your hand. Can you say that? Don't panic, grab a magic spot, throw it up, take it away, show you've got one, two, three. Then on the other side, you say you've got six. Someone's bound to say, what about underneath your hand? If they do that, grab, throw it up, Take your hand away to show you've got six. So children with six on that side and three on that side, um, what are six and three? 
9, very good, but it's really 11 if you show you have 8 on that side. Don't tell anyone how it's done and you can fool all your friends. Get it, got it good? Choice. Right, just pop that down there. Now, here I've got my magic sprinkles, which I'm going to pop in the pan like that. So guys, I'd like you to take your fingers, wiggle your fingers and say wibbly wobbly. Rub your hands together and throw the heat at the pan. Go whoosh. Very good. I'll pop the lid on. Now, close your eyes. Wish for a beautiful birthday cake. One, two, three. Say wibbly wobbly. There we are. Give yourselves a big clap for making a beautiful birthday cake. I'll just pop that there. That's all the children having birthdays. Are you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday to you. Are you ready? We'll do it again. Toru fa. Ra fa no kia Ra fa no kia Ra fa no kia meri. Ra fa no kia Cup eye, give yourself a big packy packy. Blow out the candle. And I'll pop the cake down there for later. Great stuff, guys. Excellent. Right. I want to show you something. I'll just open up here. Okay. Da -da -da -da. This is a magic hutch, Tamariki. Now, to open it, we have to count to three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Can you say open sesame? Very good. And there we have the rabbit in the top hat. Uh, oh. Did you see the... He's not there! Oh my gosh! My rabbit's run away! Do you know what a rabbit looks like? You do? Okay, we need to find a rabbit, so I'll just pop that there. I've got some pictures here, children, so if we can find the rabbit, we can do a really cool trick. Now let's have a look. Now the first one, oh it's a hard one, it's a... um, A thingamawatsa, who do you watch him call it? What? A thing of my what's it? Who'd you watch him call it? What's that called? Oh, that's a, a dog. Sorry, I've not got my glasses on. What noise does a dog make? Very good. It's gotta be the next one. Oh, let's have a look at the next one. Oh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's a hippa, 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 hippa potato. Hippa potter, hippa snot a water. What? A hippopotamus, thank you. One hippopotamus. What? It's not a hippopotamus. Hang on a minute. Oh, it's a putty cat. I thought I thought a putty cat. Sorry, I've not got my glasses on. What noise does a cat make, children? On the count of three. You ready? One, two, three. Very cool. Okay. Oh, that's easy. It's a, um, I like eating them in a salad. You know, those green things. Cucumbers. I don't know why cucumbers there. What? It's not a cucumber. What's it called? What? Did you say snake? Oh, it is a snake. Ugh. What noise does a snake make? Oh, that's really cool. Right, we're looking for a rabbit. Hold on. Uh, oh, no. What's that called? A what? No, it's not a carrot. Oh, did you say parrot? Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, 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 it's a budgie. Can you say budgie? Excellent. What noise does a budgie make? Squawk, squawk. Sort of, kind of. But the star of today's show, boys and girls, ladies and jelly spoons. Uh, jelly spoons? Jumbo bins, pickled onions, what they're called. Gentlemen, it's my friend called Rodney. Say, hello, Rodney. Now, Rodney, we're going to get Rodney back into this hutch, okay? So, I'm going to turn Rodney around like that, and I'm going to place Rodney just on this stand, okay? <clears throat> the other animals we've seen, so say bye-bye. We'll just pop them away there. Now, I'll just move this over here, the hutch there, and I'm going to place the card... I'll just move this box down here, children. Da, da, da. They are such so nice and close. Excellent. Righty-ho. Let's just pop that up there properly. So 
doesn't fall off the table. So, you're going to help me. We're going to make Rodney Rabbit vanish from there and appear in the hutch. Can you help me do that? Now, first of all, we need two things. First of all, I'll take a orange handkerchief. Oh, there we are. I've got this beautiful orange handkerchief. Uh, what? No, it's orange. What? Purple, purple, purple. Oh, sorry, I have to say orange. I cannot say purple. Uh, did I just say it? Hang on. How do you say this colour? On the count of three. Tell me. One, two, three. Purr, purr. No, hang on. Try it again. One, two, three. Oh, hang on. I'm stuck. Ooh. Say it again. Purple. Is that right? Yes. Thank you very much. Right, we'll take the purple handkerchief and I'll place it over Rodney Rabbit. And I'll grab a magic wand, wave it around three times, and, um, uh-oh, uh-oh. Something's terrible's gone on. Look. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Someone's broken and bent my wand. Uh, I wonder... At the start of the show, did you see something yellow running around? Oh my goodness gracious me. I don't know what. Oh my goodness gracious me. I've got you. Got you. Here we go. I've got you. I've got you. No, I'll hold on to you. Here we go. It's a banana. I don't like bananas. I'm going to pop that silly banana in my box. Here we go. I'll pop him in the box, lock him away forever. Right, because that's a secure box and I'm going to. Ah! Look. I'll just pop him in the box here, because I don't want a bit of it. Hold on, look, I'll just, I shouldn't have made that banana cake. I'm sorry. Ah! Oh, hold on, I'll just pop the banana in there. Right. Oh, my goodness gracious me. I'm going to have to pop it in the box. Lock it away forever. Lock it away. Here we go. All those bananas can stay in there. Sorry about that. Oh. Oh. Something's happening. Shall I open the box? No, I better not. Shall I open the box? No, I better not. Shall I be brave? Okay, something's happening. Oh God, hang on, we'll take the lid off. Huh? Oh no! Oh my goodness gracious me, look what's happened! Look what's happened! They've turned into a bunch of bananas! No! Oh my goodness gracious me! I'm so frightened of bananas. Don't tell anyone though. Right, just take your magical fingers and say, Rodney Rabbit, fly away. Fly into the hutch today. Do a snap, clap, click, and a Very good. And look. Ta-da! Gone. Thanks so much and you have a nice day. Well, uh, hold on. Oh no, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Hello, gone. What? Jump, turn it around like that. Like that. The other way. Like that. Oh, hang on a minute. Do you want to see this side? I know you don't. I know you don't. Do you? Okay. Look. Is he gone? He has. Shall we look in the hutch? One, two, three. Open Sesame, there he is in the top hat, guys. Thank you so much, and you have a nice day. What a lovely, uh, 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 dear. oh dear. Oh dear, maybe it's because those naughty bananas stole my magic wands and broke all my other magic wands. If you see a rabbit, you've got to let me know because I need to find Rodney Rabbit. He's got to be somewhere. What? Where? Are you sure? Whoa! Hold on a minute. Hey, he was a clever rabbit after all. I'll take him, I'll pop him back in the hutch. Take your hands and go wibbly wobbly. And look, give yourselves a big clap for putting him in the hat. All right, and that's the story of Rodney Rabbits. I'll just place him up there. Okay, guys, I'd like you to stand up, shake out your ring ringers. We're going to finish off with a wibbly wobbly song. Oh, dear. Righty ho. I'll just pop the music on and I'd like you to start marching on the spot, please, children. Here we go. 
Okay, I'm watching you. Thumbs up. Wibbly, wobbly, wibbly, wobbly, this is what you do. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wibbly, wobbly, wibbly, wobbly, you can do it too. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wiggle your pinky fingers and thumbs and the magic will come to you. Now Zappo the magician, he wanted a new hat. So he opened his book of magic spells and out jumped a cat. The cat's name was Spellbound, his eyes were bright blue. He turned to Zappo, smiled and said, this is what you do. Wibbly, wobbly, wibbly, wobbly, this is what you do. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wibbly, wobbly, wibbly, wobbly, you can do it too. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wiggle your pinkies, fingers and thumbs and the magic will come to you. Now Zappo, sweet helper, Grace in Dunedin was her name. She put a spell upon the cat, but he still stayed the same. She waved a magic wand, but it broke into two. The cat turned, smiled and said, this is what you do. Wibbly, wobbly, 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 this is what you do. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wibbly, wobbly, 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 you can do it too. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wiggle your pinkies, fingers and thumbs and the magic will come to you. Now this is the end of the story and show. We hope you've enjoyed it too. Zappo, turn the hat into a cat. That's what wibbly wobbly will do. Wiggle all your fingers and say the magic words. Because wibbly wobbly it will change the bees into the birds. Wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly this is what you do. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly you can do it too. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wiggle all your pinkies, fingers and thumbs and the magic will come to you. It'll come. Yeah. Roll in the magic. And give yourselves a big clap for doing good canny canny dancing. I'll just turn this music off. Hey, thanks for watching guys today. Um, enjoy the rest of the day. It's quite nice outside. So if you can get outside and get some fresh air. Uh, my name's Zappo. Um, you'll find all my other feeds and everything on my YouTube channel, which is a big Z, full word, Zappo the Magician. It's children friendly, lots of things up there for you guys to watch, going back to last year's um, Rahui, and um, ka kite no, see you in the morning. Bye bye.